The following video contains stunts performed by trained professionals on a closed course under strict supervision. Any attempt to recreate these activities could result in injury, death, and significant damages to personal property. In many sports games, players can earn power-ups by performing big plays and epic moves. Take, for instance, NBA Jam here, where the ball literally catches fire, engulfing the player, the net, and even the court in flames. But come on, there's no way a flaming basketball could actually improve the performance of our lab rats in real life. Or could it? So, we've come out here to our Rooster Teeth Indoor Athletic Complex to test whether or not a flaming basketball can actually improve your performance. And to help us test today, we have two athletes of less than average ability, Michael and Gavin. All right, how much basketball experience do you have? Oh, nothing. None? Yeah, hated it. Okay, we well, have no basketball experience. How about fire? Any experience with oh, fire? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go, okay. Fire tornado, fire yeah. tennis. Lit my head on fire. So Slomo guys is just like a fire channel, basically. Yeah. Okay, well, both your fire experience and your no basketball experience actually help us today in our experiment because we want to see how fire will affect your ability to play your sport. So you're going to kill us. <laughs> well, third degree burns at worst. So That's yeah. as high as they go. Well, don't worry about it because you guys are going to be wearing the patented Rooster Teeth fire jerseys. Hey, guys. Don't worry, these aluminum suits will protect you up to 1200 degrees centigrade. All right, so we're gonna talk some science for a little bit. You guys beat it. Go, go practice dribbling. All right, so Marcus, tell us how we're gonna light our balls on fire. Well, we experimented covering these balls in three different fuels, lamp oil, gasoline, and rubber cement. We found that the rubber cement sticks a lot easier to the ball. We also wrapped the balls in twine, and this will help keep the flames off the rubber. Our lab rats will have a good two minutes before the ball pops. All right, well, you ready to heat this bad boy up? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Whoa, all right. It is on fire. You ever see that Spaceman music video? I've seen the fire department before. They just don't look so stupid. They don't have, it's not foil colored. Michael and Gavin now have to wear these fireproof suits. They don't exactly flatter them, but they will keep them safe. Ish. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Ah! Your nose doesn't really fit. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2016 NBA Jam Immersion Exhibition. I'm Bernie Burns and with me is Tyler Coe. Tyler, this looks to be an exciting matchup. That's right, Bernie. Weighing in at 118 pounds and 5'7", Gavin Free has little to no athletic ability. However, his confidence is through the roof. And his opponent today, Michael Jones, is a tough competitor and I can only think that his upbringing in New Jersey will be a huge advantage for him today. Okay, in our control round, we had each of the lab rats take 10 10 shots from the free throw line. Michael Jones scored two out of 10 shots. Oh! I won basketball! And Gavin Free scored a measly one out of 10. So clearly we are not dealing with the best athletes here. Let's see how the fire helps their game. Whew. Hot. That's some hot ball. All right, Gavin, you think we'll do better? No. Okay, not a confident prediction from Free. Fuck! Hey, Bernie, there's a free throw pun in here, right? There's gotta be. Oh! That was way worse. Damn it! Come on! Oh, oh, damn it! I knew this experiment involved real fire, but even still, this does not look easy. Let's go! Ha! Ha! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Boom! Shakalaka! He's eating up! Oh my god. All right, we go! Holy shit, that ball's on fire, dude! Jesus Christ! Oh, your head's on fire! Oh. Your head's on fire! Your whole body's on fire! Back of his head's on fire. Right. You okay, Gav? <laughs> Thumbs up? Thumbs Dude, up. you went up. Oh, that one was chaos. <laughs> Okay, well, our fire technicians have safely put out the fire, and we have a thumbs up from Gavin, so let's continue. All right, this is it. Hello. Oh! You made it? You say it. Oh, it missed. Do it. Oh! Razzle oh. dazzle. Gavin seems to be on a roll here. All right, now if Gavin makes his last shot here, he will get 50% of his free throws. Do it, boy! Oh, and he did it! Unbelievable! Oh, Tyler, I have I never 
been so excited about a 50% free throw ratio in my life. This is what it's like to be a Shaq fan all year long. Well, Michael had the lead in the control round, but Gavin dominates the fire test with five successful free throws. All right, next up we have the dribbling portion of our competition today. In this, each of the lab rats has to dribble down court and perform a layup. That's right, Bernie, and the first one to score wins. Here's how they did in the control round. Oh, you hit me, you hit me, miss, miss, oh fuck you. All right, obviously didn't do that great, Hopefully the fire will make them faster and more graceful. I wouldn't count on it, but let's find out because things are starting to heat up. I just got that. And here they go. From here, it seems it is much more difficult to control the ball with the fire suits. And they weren't that great to begin with. Fuck! Oh, watch out! Oh. He's on fire! No, literally, literally he is on fire. <laughs> All right, though Gavin was able to score first during the control round, Michael quickly caught up during the fire test. But Gavin still has a commanding lead in total points. Looks like things are heating up. How about we move on to some one-on-one -on -one action? Michael and Gavin will go head-to-head, -head, balls out against each other. Most points at the end of regulation wins. Now, initially our plan was to have the first person to score three points, but our statisticians told us that would take, quote, four fucking ever. All right, they've heated up. The ball is on fire. <laughs> that is a miserable demonstration of dribbling. Oh, I'm coming for you, bitch. Oh, he's coming around. You got a cheeky move. <laughs> oh, Gavin with a shot. And a wide miss. Just a bit outside. Oh, Michael's with a chance for a point here. No. Nope. Oh, that is just one of the worst shots I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh. oh. Well, the suit may protect them from high temperatures, but it's certainly not helping them stay on their feet. Well, I think this resembles a wrestling match a lot more than a basketball game. What do you say, Tyler? The bigger the love, the bigger the shot. And the ball now lands on Gavin, but he takes the shot anyway. Time's running out. They better make a move. Michael sets up for the shot. Oh, Gavin shit. with a huge rejection. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 All right, we're halfway through regulation during the one-on-one -on -one portion, and the score is a solid 0-0 zero -zero, with no signs of improving anytime soon. Oh. All right, now here we are at halftime during the one-on-one -on -one portion. Michael, Gavin, how are you guys feeling today? Well, yeah, it's a score. I'm feeling good, it's neck and neck. Yeah, zero to zero. All right, for the second half of this competition, one of our scientists, Marcus, will be lowering the height of the goal significantly. It's not because you're bad, although that's one of the reasons, but also just to make a more competitive environment. No, it's we're just so evenly matched, the game will never end at this point. It's, it, it throws a new modifier in, it's, it all makes sense. You guys are saying what absolutely nobody is thinking, so thank you. Eloquent as always. Gentlemen, good luck in the second half. Be safe out there. Thanks. All right, as we begin the second half here with the lowered goal, this should help them significantly in their performance. Should, Bernie, should. should. Well, it helps 10-year-olds. You know, Tyler, one of the more difficult things as an announcer is trying to come up with lots of different ways to say he didn't make that shot. That's true, Bernie, because you need to know multiple languages to do so. We're now into Swahili territory. Okay, Gavin's got the ball. He's at half court. From downtown. What a miss. This ball is even more on fire than the others. Gavin with an amazing move through Michael's legs. But can he capitalize on it, Bernie? An answer? Resounding no. Oh. Those suits have to be hotter than the ball. Michael heads for the basket. Gavin leaps for the block. And the doctor just told him to turn his head and cough. Gotta love him. He always goes hard to the hole, and you never know what he's going to do with it once he's down there. Uh-oh. Gavin's playing dirty. Well, you know, that's actually a legal move in NBA Jam. Okay, time is running out. Someone better make a shot. Michael's got a chance here. Can he do it? Right at the buzzer, Michael Jones with our one and only score. Damn it! That's it! It's the greatest point ever in NBA history! Shoes on fire. My on fire. My Ooh. shoes on fire. My skills was on fire! Well, you guys did not make that look easy. In fact, you made it look extraordinarily difficult. You set us on fire. Well, walk me through that. Did the I mean, fire help you? Did it not help no, you? No, it hurt. It was hot. Well, Gab, you went from one out of 10 free throws to five out of 10. It seems like it helped you in some way. It absolutely helped me. The adrenaline of having both hands on fire and a flaming basketball laser focus on that rim. I thought you did great on the free throws. Sorry I kicked the shit out of you in the head-to-head. -head. So well, who's the winner? We do have to appoint a winner of science. 
And Michael, I know you won the one-on-one -on -one competition, but I feel like I have to give it to Gavin because oh, he's generous. Yeah, he has to. Of being on fire. He went from one out of 10 to five out of 10. And then he Amazing. lost right after that. So clearly the fire didn't help you, you blue bitch. Well, congratulations for surviving and only being a little bit singed, but we want to find out how you guys played together as a team. So we're just going to input a little code for our first members here. That will unlock two new players to join the game. Michael and Gavin, please welcome Jack and Jeff. You don't look excited. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna fucking die in this thing. You're gonna drop dead on the floor. Which one of you wants first shift at the glory hole? <laughs> Me? All right, well, if you wanna watch this lovely reunion of old friends as they battle it out on the court, just head on over to Rushi's.com and join our first members program. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks as always for supporting Immersion and watching the show. If you enjoyed it, come on over to roosterteeth.com where we have special episodes of the show.